Good morning, dear children of class 8. Hope you are healthy, safe and happy with your parents at home. In our previous learning session, we discussed about the need of the parliament. Why people should decide and people and their representatives that is MPs and MLAs. Today, I am going to revise the central theme of the lesson what is government from your class 6 and 7? Okay, children. What is government? What is the need of your government? Government is needed to make decisions and to get things done. Okay. So, government is the organization. That is the governing authority of your political unit. On the other hand, the ruling power in a political society. Or it is a device or the apparatus through which a governing body functions and exercise authority. Okay. What is the need of a government? What are all its functions? The government is needed to make decisions and to get things done. The government takes decisions on various matters like how and where to build roads, schools and railway lines. How to improve the public health care system. How to improve the supply of drinking water etc. The government needs to take decisions on various social issues. For example, government formulates programs on helping the poor people. Government takes decision when there is some conflict between two social groups. The government is also required to protect the boundaries of the country. Okay, what is happening between India and uh, Pakistan and China? Okay, so the government is also required to protect the boundaries of the country. It also needs to maintain cordial relationships. That means friendly relations with other countries. The government has to ensure that all its citizens get enough to eat. In case of a natural disaster, the government carries out relief operations to help affected people. The government also needs to maintain the rules and regulations so that everyone can live in harmony, that is in peace. Dear children, what are the different levels of government? The first one is central level or national level. That is central government. It is the topmost level of government. Second, next one is state level. Different Indian states have their own level of government. Next one is at the district level. At the district level, the governance is in the hands of government officials who are known as civil servants. India is a representative democracy where people are eligible to vote, elect representatives and participate in the decisions making the process. The government works at different levels. Okay. So, at the national level, it refers to the area of the government which is concerned with national issues such as taxation, defense, international relations and trade. Okay, can you understand? At the state level, each of the state governments has its own police force, education, education system and road laws. Okay, can you understand? The next one is? The local governments are known as panchayats in rural areas and municipal corporations, municipalities and nagar panchayats in urban areas. Can you understand children? Okay. Now, why do we need laws? What would happen if we do not follow the traffic rules or any law? For example, if traffic rules are not followed there can be more accidents similarly 
the absence of a constitution will further leads to mishaps and further damages to the country. Can you understand children? The government needs to make rules for everyone in the form of laws because of the following reasons. The government wants to give advantages to the people of the welfare measures to all without discrimination. Okay. To provide equality and justice to all, to maintain peace, the government needs to make rules for everyone in the form of laws. Can you understand? Okay. Now, a rule of conduct established and enforced by the authority, legislation or custom of a given community, state or nation is called law. It is both the responsibility of the government and citizens to uphold the integrity of the law. Governments can be classified into several types. Some of the most common types of governments are a democracy and monarchy, okay, etc. In democracy, uh, is a form of government run by elected representatives. We are electing our MLAs and MPs, okay, who hold the decision making power. The word democracy originates from the Greek words demos and krotos, D-E-M-O-S, demos and K-R-O-T-O-S, krotos, meaning rule of the people. It can be classified into direct and indirect democracy. That's monarchy. The monarch monarchy is refers to the rule by a king or queen. Sometimes a king is called an emperor. It is a government with a hereditary head of the state. It can be classified into two types that is absolute monarchy and constitutional monarchy. The other form of government is representative democracy. The type of democracy in which the citizens delegate. Delegate means we entrust. Okay, we are selecting someone to represent our feelings, uh, authority to their elected representatives. Okay, that is called representative democracy. We are electing our representatives. Okay, children. What are the two types of government in India? In India, it is called a quasi-federal government. Both the state and central governments exist in the country. The, both the central and the state governments derive authority and power from the constitution. The central government is more powerful than the state governments. Can you understand? Okay. Dear children, what is women's suffrage movement? Um, just to listen carefully, women were not allowed to vote in ancient Greek and Rome. By the end of the 18th century, only a few democracies had emerged in Europe and they, ba they, they barred women from voting. Many men were also excluded from voting with restrictions commonly based on race, property ownership and education or literacy. When the suffrage means it's a voting right. Suffrage it's a, began to extend to large groups of male citizens in uh, United Kingdom, Kingdom in 1832. Women were still denied all voting rights. This movement to secure women's suffrage finally arose in the end in the 19th century. Though they initially faced great opposition. Okay. So, that is called a yeah, movement started in the early 20th century vigorously for many years demanding equality with men and 
men and the right to vote okay so what are the gains of women suffrage in the areas of area of politics women gain the right to control their earnings own property and in the case of divorce take custody of their children okay by 1896 women had gained the right to vote in four states in us okay that is called women suffrage what is universal adult franchise it is that is right to vote universal adult franchise means that the right to vote should be given to all adult citizens without the discrimination of the caste class color creed religion or gender it is based on equality which is a basic principle of democracy okay equality is a basic principle of democracy okay children okay now the privilege or right it's a universal adult uh, franchise or a universal adult suffrage it's a right officially granted to a person or a group by a government especially the constitutional or uh, constitutional right to vote each country needs a government to make important decisions and function well the decisions may be economic educational or social can you understand children okay now with this we come to the end of today's class i hope you all could have understood if there is any doubt you can text me your doubts my whatsapp number thank you children have a nice day